Alright guys, this is uh, part one of, I don't know how many parts, of my uh, DVD update that uh, covers the past uh, few months. Uh, stuff I bought since about January or so, so there's a, a good size uh, stack of stuff here. And uh, this first part's going to focus on the TV, because I uh, have enough TV here for a whole video. So we'll just get started. First show up is... Um, Weeds, I got season one, season two, uh, season three, season four, and season five. Uh, this is a show I've been wanting to get for uh, quite a while now. It goes on sale every Black Friday without fail, uh, but and I always plan to get it, uh, but just something always um, comes up. Or something else I want to buy um, that doesn't go on sale as often, so I always end up kind of skipping it and just say, oh, I'll get it later. Uh, but I finally got uh, at least the first five seasons. I found uh, the first season here on Amazon Marketplace for only $2.39, and I have Prime, so I got free shipping because it was fulfilled through Amazon. So uh, once I got the first season, I was like, well, you know, I can go through this in like half a day because uh, the first season's uh, pretty short, and there was. I was, I've just got to have some more seasons to watch, so I went ahead and looked around, picked uh, picked up two through five as well, uh, and I'm probably going to get six and seven uh, coming uh, this coming Black Friday, unless they go on sale before that. Uh, I haven't seen seven yet, um, but uh, I don't know, the, the last uh, few seasons haven't been quite... I don't know, they've been good, but they haven't, they it, it's kind of lost something um, that the first, you know, three or four seasons had, um, you know, and I think, I think what's um, kind of making it different, those later seasons, is the lack of the, um, the rest of the ensemble cast, as you can see they're all featured here on the covers, they slowly get kind of phased out a little bit, um, and like I said, if they come back in season seven, I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. Uh, but like Celia, who's played um, oh, I can't remember her name, Elizabeth something or another, but she um, she's hilarious. She plays uh, Celia's kind of Nancy's frenemy, so to speak. Uh, and I kind of liked it um, when she was kind of the rich bitch and didn't take crap from no one. Then they kind of made her, you know, into like a drug. <laughs> drug addict and an alcoholic and I don't know groveling a little bit but that's beside the point point um, and the stuff that comes out of her mouth oh my god and then you've got Doug who's um, hilarious as well uh, just the he, he's a pothead and that's uh, he's not afraid to admit it <laughs> um, he you know he again he does whatever the heck he wants and, um, all he, well, basically all he wants to do with his day is smoke pot, and his whole life is, uh, trying to find a way to do that. Um, and you got Celia and Conrad there, again, um, they, uh, they kind of, uh, get phased out, or leave. Um, but, like I said, not knocking the last, uh, couple seasons here, I mean, <clears throat> they're still, it's still entertaining, um, Still kind of like, oh crap, what's going to happen? Um, you know, every episode you got a great cliffhanger. Um, but I look forward to season 7. I'm pretty sure they've been renewed for season 8. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they have. So, uh, looking forward to that. Um, so if you haven't checked out Weeds, uh, do so. It's an uh, excellent show. Uh, great comedy. Um, really good. Alright, uh, next up we have um, a show uh, that I've uh, kind of been a little obsessed with lately, um, and it's Cougar Town. This is season one and season two. I, uh, for the longest time, I didn't realize that this was created by uh, Bill Lawrence, who's the creator of Scrubs, one of my favorite comedies ever. Uh, I love his, uh, his style of humor. Um, uh, and it it carries over to Cougar Town, um, just the the witty dialogue and uh, just the <laughs> the running uh, jokes 
like uh, Scrubs had several running jokes. Cougar Town does as well. Um, and speaking of Scrubs, um, they actually uh, they actually have included some jokes that Scrub bleh, Scrubs fans will recognize. Um, some sometimes you can even see Scrubs playing on the TV in the background. That's kind of funny. Uh, and um, lots of uh, Scrubs actors have uh, came back. Um, came back and done cameos and guest appearances, so that's kind of cool. Um, the only one who hasn't that I wish would is uh, John McGinley, who played Dr. Cox. That would be so awesome to see him come back. But I guess, uh, if you don't know what it's about, I guess the, the title is a little bit misleading, and um, even the writers, and every, and uh, they make fun of themselves. Um, like, the title cards for season uh, two, they always write something you know, either above or below it, kind of like referencing that it's not about Courtney Cox's character going after younger men, because um, I, I guess that's what the title implies. But that only that's only like for the first four or five episodes, and they change the formula around. So really, there aren't. <laughs> it's not really about cougars, really. Um, and uh, yeah, they kind of they write jokes in about that too. Um, it's it's just a really I mean just about a group of friends um living in Florida. <laughs> they uh, call themselves the cul-de-sac crew. That's kind of clever. But anyway, you got oh, um Jules Cobb played by Courtney Cox, um her ex-husband Bobby, and then you've got uh her best friend uh, Ellie played by Krista Miller, who again was um in in, in scrubs and her character is very similar to uh, Jordan. She's kind of um, bitchy and sarcastic, but underneath really kind of nice, <laughs> but only to the people she likes. And then you got Lori, played by uh, Busy Phillips. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, Jules' son, Travis. Um, Grayson. Uh, and Ellie's husband, Andy. they It's just the whole cast has fantastic chemistry. And... Uh, just a uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show. I'm so thankful that TBS has saved it. I don't know why ABC <laughs> would cancel it. It's it's so ah, oh, it's great. And um, so I'm just thankful that even though uh, it's moving to another network, it's not going to be canceled. But I do think there aren't going to be as many episodes per season. So uh, if you haven't seen Cougar Town. Uh, give it a shot. I really, really recommend it. It's uh, super funny. Um, just And it's got fantastic music. Um, I know I found there's a couple songs that I went and bought after hearing them on episodes. I don't know, that's just a side note. But um, fantastic. So check it out, watch it, support it. It's awesome. Alright, uh, next up we have... Um, a show I've been wanting to get for a while now, and it is uh, Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, season one, and then, uh, of course, season two, and the slipcases are very shiny, so I apologize for any glare. Um, speaking of which, I hunt, it took me a while to hunt, hunt down the slipcases, um, but I, I'm glad I did because it's really, I like it a lot, it's super shiny and looks awesome. And, uh, like I said, I, I, well, I didn't say it yet, but I found it on Amazon Marketplace. Um, Amazon Marketplace is where it's at, guys, if you're looking for, you know, uh, good deals. Um, I've, I don't know, I've had people just ask me where do I find them for cheap. Uh, I don't really, I'll go to eBay now and then, but, um, I'm, lately I've been finding better deals on Amazon Marketplace. So, there's my little, um endorsement for you Amazon um, but back to the show uh, it's um, really really I really enjoyed it of course it aired on Fox so um, obviously it wasn't gonna last very long it's a sci-fi show on Fox uh, and um, their slogan should be where good TV goes to die because that's what happens but uh, of course the movie um, picks up you know where the kind of follows uh, where the second one kind of, well, it's based more on the second movie, uh, and, uh, it, it does a good job of incorporating, um, a lot of the, 
um, story and mythology from from the movie, which is awesome. But then it also does um, does its own thing, which makes it a little different. So you're not just pretty much rewatching the movie in television form, which I think is awesome. Uh, just fantastic. The cast is awesome. You got uh, Lena Headey as um, Sarah Connor, who's freaking awesome. I'm really loving her in Game of Thrones. Um, and she does a fantastic job. Uh, I think I may like her version of Sarah Connor a little better than Linda Hamilton's, actually. Um, then you've got uh, Summer Glau, who plays <clears throat> Cameron. Um, Summer just does such a great job at uh, being those socially awkward, highly intelligent characters. Like, you know, she can't really <laughs> function well with normal people. She does such a good job as um, a robot here. Uh, and then you got Thomas Decker as John Connor. And Brian Austin Green also um, star, he comes in towards the end of the first season and is in the second season as well. Um, and then also another uh, great act actress that, co that I really like seeing was uh, Shirley Manson from the band Garbage. She played a really cool role in, in the second season. So, um, great, like I said, great show. The first season has only 10 episodes or so, but then they got... Um, I think 22 or 24 episodes for the or the second season, so it ends, uh, it doesn't end on a big cliffhanger or anything like that, uh, it, it's, it can serve as an ending, but it could have also served, you know, um, they could have done a third season, it, it, but it doesn't leave you, like, com it leaves you wanting more, but it doesn't really leave that many open, loose ends, so... Um, a really great show. Like I said, two seasons, so it's pretty um, quick watch, but definitely uh, worth your time to check out. All right, last but not least is uh, definitely one of my favorite things uh, that's come out in the past uh, long while, um, and it is, of course, Game of Thrones season one. Um, just I think everybody's pretty much covered this, but. This show is friggin' fantastic. It's amazing. I just I can't tell you how many adjectives I can't I can't use enough adjectives to describe how good it is. Um, and uh, wow. Um, but I love this packaging. Uh, I know quite a few people have shown it off already. Um, Best Buy did have an exclusive. They had a, a Stark and a Targaryen version, uh, which I liked. I liked the design on it. Um, but it just, it didn't, and normally I, I usually go for the store exclusives, but I went for the standard release simply because of this, um, gorgeous, uh, you've got this, it's a slipcover here, and it's just embossed all the way around, um, it's embossed on the sides there, it's just beautiful, and plus I didn't know if Best Buy would be consistent with the later seasons and still keep releasing them, so. And then you've got, under here, you've got, um, there you go. There's the front. There's the back. It's a hard case. It's um, just like the True Blood um, boxes. That's kind of how it feels. Um, and you open it up and you got this uh, great digipack. You got Nuts Dark there. Um, and I just mentioned Lena Headey as uh, Cersei Lannister, who is um, probably going to get some heat for this, but she's actually probably my favorite character. Um, I just love a good complex. I don't want to call her a villain. She's a very complex character, I think. Uh, so, and like I said, Lena Headey does a fantastic job. Uh, King Robert, another favorite character, Jon Snow, played by Kit Harington. He is just so pretty. <laughs> I love him. Uh, and Daenerys, who's also very awesome. And I was looking. Hang on, because there was another character I wanted to mention. There we go, Tyrion. Uh, played by Peter Dinklage, whose every word that comes out of his mouth is just fantastic. And um, I just love the character so much, and um, the way Peter Dinklage portrays him, it's just fantastic. Everybody does a fantastic job. I mean, there are no weak links or anything like that, but certain characters stick out uh, more for me than others. But uh, then you just got this uh, really long... Did you pack there? And uh, and each of the discs has a different house 
symbol on them. And, uh, like I said, if you're not watching this show, it's, it's, it's your loss, really, honestly. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's labeled fantasy, but it, I, right now, um, well, the second season, you're start. there's more magic and, um, stuff going on, but the first season, it's just, it's very kind of politically driven, uh, very, um, you know, characters are driven mainly, you know, by family, and, you know, their duty to their respective families, and trying to keep the <laughs> kingdoms from going to war, um, it's very, very, uh, I'm just, a good word for it, sophisticated fantasy, I guess, is a good way to describe it, um, so I really do urge you to, uh, please give it a shot. I, I, I do have the books. I actually had the first book, um, I had it in my wish list for a long time and I never got around to it. And I'm kind of regretting it because I can only imagine what it's like to read, um, to, I mean, it was shocking to see it, uh, on film, but I can only be like, uh, imagine what it'd be like as a reader reading it for the first time and just like, oh my god. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just, wow. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, that concludes, uh, the TV portion for this update. I think I got a pretty good size haul there. All wonderful shows that I'm thrilled to, uh, add to my TV collection. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, and I will see you with the next part. Bye, guys.